Right guys, welcome to this week's uh, Get Up From Your Desk. Uh, today we're going to work on thoracic rotation. Okay, so that's how the spine is this upper back area. Okay, uh, and obviously if you sat down at your desk for long periods of time, it's not doing an awful lot if it's in front of you all the time here. Uh, so being able to rotate from that area is going to be really, really helpful for you. So here and here. Okay. One thing to remember uh, with this is that we don't want to be compensating at the lower back or in your neck. Okay. So when I'm telling you to rotate, you want to get that rotation from your upper back, not be moving your head from your neck, not be twisting your lower back here, and not be spinning at the hips. Okay. We're trying to focus on that upper back. As usual with this, we're going to build it up. So we're going to start with the most basic and work up to the most difficult from um, the easiest position to the hardest position. Okay, so we're going to begin on all fours. So quadruped position. So that's here, knees, they're going to be pretty wide. Okay, so let's start fairly wide and then hands straight down in front. Okay, you don't be too stretched out in this position, you want your knees fairly wide and then you want your hands just straight down so that your arm is um, vertical. Okay, you don't want to be out here too much. You want to be there. Okay, this helps to lock down your hips and stop you from rotating from there. You're then going to put your hands on the back of your head. So grab the back of your head. We're going to try and tuck elbow to elbow to begin with. Should be fairly easy. But then this is a difficult bit. We're going to take your elbow and we're trying to twist up towards the sky. Okay? So you're trying to take your elbow, touch. Let's do 10 of these on one side and we're trying to reach up towards the sky. So this is the easiest one to control. So we might not get an awful amount of range. If you're getting loads of range, you can spin right around. Either you've got great thoracic mobility or you're gaining from somewhere else, okay? So think about where you're moving your elbow. That's the key to this one. Okay, other side, put it on top. So, we need that here to stop, if you're coming too narrow you can swing your hips and make sure you, you get extra movement there. So you spread your knees a little bit, hands not too far away from your knees, hand on the back of your head, keep it there. If you can't break that position you can go to the ear, that's fine as well. But if you can put it on the back of your head, it just keeps this position very strict. So I've got a little bit more for my neck then, so I need to just, don't try and look around, try and move that elbow back and to the ceiling. Okay, so that was our starting position. So, you will feel a little bit more warm for your upper back. So, we're going to stand in now. Now, you'll need a wall or something solid. Uh, it could even be a desk, because you can do this from a knee heart kneeling position. So, you could use your desk or your chair so it doesn't move. But if you feel a wall, uh, it'll work perfectly. So, I'm going to use this pillar here. So, I'm going to have my right hand and I'm going to put it on the pillar so I can't move it any further to the left. Okay? So right hand inside the wall, so you can't move it any further to the left. So that's going to pin my hand, and now I can't twist from there. I'm going to put my left hand just on the wall, and then take my left hand and I'm going to twist it behind me, behind me, behind me. But notice what I'm doing with my hips. So I can get far more motion if I went like this, and spun my hips, push my hips forward, and twist from my hips. So your hips, you want to stay directly facing at the wall and your left arm comes out. Okay? So you actually want to squeeze your left glute in order to stop yourself from pushing around. If you bend your knees slightly, you'll also lock that a little bit more out. Try and keep your right hand still. So let your right hand go forward either. And just There. Okay, I'm going to do away. So, left hand is going to be blocked by the wall, right hand is going to go around. I'm going to squeeze my right glute to stop my 
So next step um, is we're going to go into a hinge position. Um, so it's a bit of a hinge, um, sort of semi-squat. So feeling a bit more like a squat width apart. Again, it stops your hips from doing some of the rotating for you. So about squat width apart. You just sit back, and then you're going to put your hands on the inside of your knees. Okay, there are two ways you can do this. So we can do it from here and rotate. Or you can do like we're going to do the next one, and you can go from here. Most people find this one a little bit easier to uh, learn. So hands are going to be on the inside of your knees, hinging back into that position. Okay? So then the hands will rest just on the inside of your thighs or just on the inside of your knees. You're then going to take one hand and it's going to rotate up and back down. Then we're going to go to the other side. And back down. The hand that's staying down needs to stay attached to that leg. Okay, so my left hand moves, my right hand actually going against, and it's going to push into my knee. So let's do five on either side, and then I'll turn to the side and we'll do five more on each side. Okay, so from the side, set your feet in that squat width, hinge back, put all the way through your heels, hands on the inside of your knees or thighs, and then try and take the other hand up and round. Okay, take your chest with it. So moving on, the next one, this one's really going to lock down everything else um, and it's going to make sure that you are just using your upper back. So we're going to get into this half kneel position, going for a half kneel over press. So not quite hip flexor stretch, but that same sort of position, knees are at 90 degrees, ankles are at 90, and we're nice and stable there. So from there we're going to put our hands into that prisoner position, so like for a prisoner squat. So hands on the back of our heads, both hands. Elbows pulled back, and then we're going to twist left. And we'll twist to our right. Number we'll five, two per side. Now, this one you're probably not, especially to my right. So, my right leg's over. I'm going to get loads of range this way, a bit more this way, but still not loads. Because of how locked down the rest of your body is, so your, um, I'll turn to the side, so because your hips are totally locked down in this position, and then you've got into this position as well here, you can't get anything from your shoulders, uh, you can't get much from the hips or lower back, it's all going to come from that thoracic spine, the upper back area. So let's get this position again, so that nice stable position. Try to focus on keeping this front knee still. So you can get extra range, you can kind of rock it side to side. So we're going to try and keep that still. I feel like cooking in to make this one a bit more difficult um, too. So here, hands to the right, hands to the left.
Das heißt, die werden nicht helfen, die Schalle und die Neck. Oh, jetzt. Für die Hüfte, für die Hüfte. Okay. So you can make this one a little bit more tricky, um, or more strict. If you feel like this knee is doing a bit, so if you want to go in like this, and your knee's traveling in, and then when you do this, you do, see how I can get more, by twisting at the hip. Um, you can block that knee off, just on a wall. Um, so, if you go against the wall here, your knee can't then move, okay? So, there's a little trick to that one. Right, so, uh, the final, most difficult one we're going to do today. Um, I'm really, really struggling with this, I'm not going to lie. So, I'm going to go into a squat, and I'm going to windmill up from there, okay? So, we're going to drop down into your squat position, as low as you can get. Ideally, we want to get as deep as we can down here, okay? If you're here, it's fine, still do the same. You might just want to put your hands on the floor so that you can hold yourself. If you can get right the way down now, evening squat position is perfect, so my knees twist, uh, my feet point out a little bit here, but it's helping. Then you can hold it to foot, and you can rotate out with one hand, then grab the foot, and you can with all of on that side. Okay, so you can your chest up, and rotate up. So I'm going to do five here. And then I'm going to turn on the side, give my legs a little break. And uh, follow along again. So nice deep squat if we can. Deep as you can get. And then if you have to, you can put your hands on the floor. Or you can grab your feet. You can grab your feet. Try and chest up. Whew. Okay, so five different uh, girls there for the upper back rotation. Um, progressive more difficult. Kind of, if you want to, you can pick the one uh, that feels the best. Spend some time doing it. Um, or just work you through, through um, the sequence. Right, so hope you feel a little bit better after that. I'll see you all next week for another one of these. Bye bye.